Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL Query Training Session with Learn at NoStar. In today's session, I'm going to be answering a query that was asked by one of our viewers and she had a very interesting scenario. So her scenario was to write a SQL query to find out the departments which had only female employees. So let's get started. So I'm going to be working with the Adventure Works Data Warehouse database, which is provided by SQL Server. And I'm going to be working on the DIM employee table from this database. So now I have written a simple query already, which gives me the distinct department names and the genders which are present for that department. So if I execute this query, what I am getting in the output is the department name. So for example, the first department is document control. And you can see that you have the genders female and male both present in this department. So same goes for engineering. But if we go down, we would be able to find some departments. So let's go down. And if we see here, we can see that production control is one of the departments which has got only male employees. Uh, same goes for quality assurance. So this department has got only male employees and no female employees. So we are going to write a query wherein we are going to find out the departments which have only male employees and no female employees. So what we should be getting in the output is quality assurance and production control. Now there can be a couple of ways to write this query. Let's start with a very simple query. So what we have done in the SQL that we have already written is simply took a distinct department name and gender. When we do a distinct on the department name and gender, we would get all the records for that department for all the genders. So you have two gender values present, F and M, then you will get two records. If you have three values present, you will get three records. If you have only one value present, you will get one record and so on. So based on this approach, we can write a very simple query. So let's go back to this query and just copy and paste it. So what I'm doing here is I'm just selecting distinct department names. Okay, let's take out the gender from here and put it in the where clause where gender is equal to male. So M for male. So we're trying to find out here the departments which have only male employees. So this will give me all the departments which have male employees. They might also have employees of another gender. So I want to exclude those departments. So now I'm going to use a keyword which is called accept. And then I am going to let me paste this query. And now I'm going to change my where clause to where gender is not equal to m so we could have also uh, written where gender is equal to f but in some cases you might have more values in the gender field so you can simply write gender not equal to m so what this would fetch us okay so let's run this query as a standalone query so this would fetch us all the departments which have gender not equal to m values which means which have female employees present in them so now once we have got two data sets, so the first query gives us the data set where we get the names of all the departments who have male employees. And the second query gives us a data set which gives us all the department who have employees of gender other than the male gender. Now we want to exclude all these departments which have employees of any gender other than the male gender. So I'm going to exclude those employees by using the clause except over here. And I want those employees, but I do want the department to have some employees of the male gender. So I'm going to take this as the master data set. Now, if I execute this query, I'm going to get my answer as production control and quality assurance, which are the two departments which have only male employees. So this is a very simple, straightforward query that we can use to find out just the department names which have only male employees or only female employees. But let's say now the scenario is, and here we want to find out also the count of employees. So we can frame it in a different way the same query it's a popular way of uh, writing a sql query for these kind of scenarios so what we are going to do here now is we are going to select the department name and then we are going to select it from the dbo.dim employee table 
And since we want to have only distinct department name, so here we are going to use the group by clause. So group by department name. And now I am going to use a having condition. So having instead of aware, it works like aware. So it filters out the data basically having. And now I am going to define a condition that would identify all the departments which have only male employees or any employees other than the male employees. So I am going to write case when gender is equal to, let's say, or not equal to, when gender is not equal to M, then 1. Else, else 0 and end this statement okay. and then I am going to take a sum because we have dropped by and this case statement would work record by record we have to take an aggregated value so now I am going to take the sum and then I am going to compare it to 0 so there shouldn't be ideally any employees whose gender is other than the male gender okay so if this is not clear let's do this uh, in a separate select statement so it becomes clear as to what we are trying to do here so what we are doing here is okay let's select our columns department name and gender and then let's put a case statement so what we are saying is case when gender is not equal to m then you have to put a one otherwise you have to put a zero Okay, from dbo dot then employ. Okay, now let's execute this query. Okay, so now we have the department name is production. The male is gender. Your value that you have got uh, of this case statement, the result of the case statement is a zero because that is what we checked. We have checked that when the gender was not equal to male then you had to put a 1 otherwise you had to put a 0 so now since this is a male it has put a 0 it went to the else part and it put a 0 now where it was a female in those cases it has put a 1 value because this statement becomes true that when, when gender is not equal to m then you have to put a 1 now the next thing that we're doing here is we are taking a sum on this case statement so let's put a sum on this case statement and since we have used an aggregate function we would need to use a group by on the department name here and now let's execute a query okay so we cannot have gender obviously here because we have not used it in the group by class or let's use the gender and include it in our group by so it becomes more clear as to what we are trying to do here all right and now execute this query okay so now if you take a look at the result you will see that wherever the gender is female you have got some values so these departments had uh, female employees and you have got some value for some finite value which is greater than zero over here and wherever the gender is male it is zero because that is what we said that if the gender is equal to m basically it goes to the else clause and it becomes a zero now we have focused on the female employees here so what we are seeing is that whenever any department has a female employee you'll get a value in as a result of this case statement which is something else than the zero value and now we have applied a filter in our query on the having clause as that i want all those records for which this value is equal to zero which means it is not equal to any of these finite values so now when you run this query if you run this query over here you will get the results as production control and quality assurance and all those departments which had values for the female gender will be taken out of your uh, of your resultant uh, data set so they will be excluded so let's go back to this query we see that this document control department has some female employees your value would always be something greater than zero
all right so now because we were comparing it with e equal to zero all these different departments will get filtered out what you would be left with would be only those departments for which you have no record of employees with gender f so this is how you can frame your query here and get these now you if you want to get the count separately you can also include this in your statements so one would be this um, so this would be as count female and this would be as count male and now if we run this query okay we have to change this to equal to m now okay and now if we run this query you will see that you've got a count of male employees but your count of female employees for these two departments is zero so this is how you can frame your query using the case statement as well so basically these are the two ways in which you can write there can be other ways of writing the query as well but these are the more popular ways which you can use and find out the departments which have only a certain gender of employees thanks a lot for watching if you also have any queries then please feel free to send me an email or put your queries in the comments below and we would try to make a video answering your queries as well I hope that you found this video useful if you did then please do not forget to like comment share this video and also please do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel because we'll be posting many more videos soon thanks again for watching goodbye